how hard was that for you coming into his world? Because you were a very young girl, 14 when you met him, mm -hmm. 21 when you married, right. and he was becoming this massive star. How difficult was that for, that for you? Well, it was difficult, especially moving into Graceland. He already had his inner circle. And of course, they, em they embraced me, but I never realized that that was it. I mean, he didn't really go out. He didn't, he didn't go out. He didn't really like eating in, in restaurants because people would take pictures of him and he didn't want to be shot with eating his, you know, putting fork in his mouth and having, you know, uh, telling, uh, asking them not to, you know, take photographs. So um, we had our, I mean, we lit, truly lived in a bubble. I mean, we would go roller skating. We would, uh, go, he would rent the, the, uh, the, the, the park uh, where we would ride roller coasters mm. and But this was your teenage and... years. Pardon me? This was your teenage yes, years. Yes, it was, yes. And, and it was do you fun. Feel, I, I know you say it's fun, but did, did you ever think that you were missing out on something? Even though you were with someone you obviously cared very much about him. I didn't have my teenage years as a normal girl, obviously. No. So I had to, I had to adapt. And I guess the, I did adapt because my father being in the Air Force, we traveled all over and I was in different schools and that you had to to survive mm -hmm. to adapt. So I just kind of followed, you know, what he did. I mean, you lived his life. You honestly didn't have your own life. You lived his life. You saw the movies he wanted to see. You listened to the music he listened to. You go to places that he would go. So you you really kind of lost yourself. Did you ever try and kind of break out? Do you have a mad moment where you go, that's it, I'm going out, I don't yeah. care, I don't want to be with all yeah. your friends today. That was difficult because we travelled all the time together. Um, the times that he was touring is when um, I, I started, I had a, a dance class I would go to to break out a little bit and started realising then, gosh, um, relationships are a little bit different. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I, I started yeah. realising that, you know, you just lived another life, and women had their own life. But what about your friends? I, I want to know, did you, how did you manage to find your friends? Because you were with his friends. Now. I was with his friends, and I was with the wives of his friends. They were p pretty much um, chosen for me. So, and I, I got along. I got along with them very well, um, especially a couple of them. Was it quite them. lonely? Did you find it quite lonely? It was lonely in that I didn't have any information of what was going on with my age group. Yeah. I didn't know really what was mm. going on in the scene. Um, I really didn't know what was going on with music because we listened really to his mm -hmm. music. Not that there was anything wrong with it. I got quite an education, by the way, because he was brilliant um, on listening to music and choosing music and um, choosing artists that would make it. I mean, mm. it was really an education. You're talking about keeping the mystique in a relationship. Yeah. And you had to share Elvis with everyone. I in the shared world. him with everyone. So did, do, you, do you feel that had an impact on your relationship with Elvis? Um, uh, yes. I mean, it was fear. I, um, you know, I lived with a group of men, eight men basically. Some of them were married, some of them weren't. Whether they were married or not didn't make any difference. Um, the most difficult thing for me was that Elvis had told me at a young age what you see here almost like a little in Vegas, mm. you don't share with anybody. Mm. So it was difficult to be with some of the women who were married. There was a, they would say that I was quite cool in, in their, I, my because relation you know with them. Stuff because about their I did. I knew things that I was so afraid I would reveal with a look or I'd pull back, so it was so difficult. So they thought you were a bit offish and you weren't. Exactly. You were just kind of just not yeah. wanting to be put in the middle. I didn't want to be put in that but situation. But when, when you and Elvis divorced, did you have to have therapy to get, get find yourself? No. I'm, I'm just interested because it's almost like you were not imprisoned or confined, but you, you had to fit in in such a rigid, controlled environment. And then when you divorced him, how did you find yourself? It was a journey. I'd never had therapy, but it was quite a journey. I, I didn't sign a check until I was 29 years old. Wow. I didn't. I, everything was. I, everything was there for me. But it was. It was as a woman. Mm. I didn't really know who I was. Mm. And, you, and Elvis uh, advised you on how to do I your hair, how to do your makeup, how to everything. dress. Everything, even my clothes, everything. I had. I mean, I realized that I don't know who I am. I mean, my my considerations were his considerations, my fears were his fears, my mm. likes were his likes. Um, in a conversation, I mm. found myself revealing things that he would say to me mm. that, so I... How, I so, how, so how old were you when you felt you put your own stamp on who you were, your identity? 27. Wow. 27. I just, uh, and not that I, and I did not divorce him 
because I didn't love him. He was the love of my life, truly. If anything, I left because, and I still loved him. I needed to find out what the world was like, really. It was one world. But what the greatest thing about our relationship is that we still loved each other. Mm. Was and he we devastated still... when you went? It was a shock. It was a but, shock. But sexually, after you had your daughter, he didn't want to sleep with you. No, he slept. We slept together. You carried on having, <laughs> but oh, I thought you didn't have sex. No, 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 no. We had our own way. I mean, yeah. you know, we we definitely had a good relationship. It was. But was just... it a sexual relationship? Some of a sexual relationship. Mm -hmm. I know you're talking about, but I'm not going to get into the personal mm -hmm. side did, of this. Did, well, when you split with Elvis <laughs> and you divorced, is it right that you actually left the court building hand in hand? Yes. In fact, when we were in the courtroom, we were holding hands before the judge. We never went to court. We went behind the, changer, uh, the chambers. And we were sitting there, and I was looking at his hands because he was so bloated, and we were both holding yeah. hands. And I asked him, he was dating Linda Thompson at the time, and I said, you know, like, is she taking care of you? Are you okay? And he said, yes, I'm good. I'm all right. Mm -hmm. But as we're talking... I can talking, see you getting very emotional. Well, I do. Yeah. But the judge said after, he said, <clears throat> I thought I was um, uh, performing a marriage, not a divorce.